Washington football team at the Denver Broncos. This game is the stink. Uh, Three-point favorites are the Broncos. 44 and a half is your total. Broncos get back Jerry Judy this week, but it's a banged up Teddy Bridgewater. He looked like he was just hobbling around on the field out there. Washington football team continues to baffle with just how bad they can play as well. So a here's the thing, guys. If I bet this game, I have to watch it. And so I'm not betting it because I don't <laughs> want to have to watch this. So uh, this is just a complete and utter pass for me. Um, uh, S- Steven, any thoughts on this one at all? Even I'm not betting this one. Yeah. This, is, this is rough. <laughs> this is not fun. So um, I'll just echo what Brad has been saying for weeks now. Taylor Heineke is is not great. And even when he has a wide open lane to the end zone, he apparently still can't get into the end zone. If you saw that last week, that was pretty friggin' hilarious. So, um, yeah, no real interest here for me. The Broncos can't seem to figure it out as well on offense. There's constant weekly calls now and and speculation of whether or not Drew Locke should take over, which is just hilarious because it's like magically everybody thinks Drew Locke's going to be any better than he was before. But, you know, yeah, do what you want with this game. I have zero interest. This is a tough one. Brad, you know, it'd be maybe there'd be some analysis here if 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 I was a little bit more certain at the at the quarterback position and who was and wasn't going to play for the Broncos. I mean, uh, Von Miller didn't practice on on Wednesday again, he kind of tweaked to that ankle, uh, you know, that he uh, from a while back, and it's just been bothering him uh, ever since. Getting Judy back is great, I guess, but uh, if, if Teddy Bridgewater is hurt and you know at playing at seventy percent or whatever he said he was at seventy five percent, he said he was at, um, you know, that's not good either. So I, it's just very hard for me to get a read on this game up and down. And if we look at the Washington side of things, I mean, again, another a defense that we thought was going to be one of the better defenses in the entire league as we entered this season, and I don't think I, I mean just a swing and a miss on everybody's part. I mean, as we sit. Heading into week eight, 28th overall defense DVOA. They're 29th against the pass. Pro football focus says they're 31st against the pass. You know, I mean, they, they can't do anything there. So if Teddy Bridgewater is a little bit better this week and he now he's getting back Jerry Judy to go along with Cortland Sutton and Noah Fant and all that, you, you do see a definite mismatch from that aspect, but a little bit, a little bit too premature, I think, for me to, to want to pull the trigger on the Broncos. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe the over is the look. They were missing William Jackson last week, the the football team's defense, um, and they're running out some mm-hmm. some shoddy corners. Uh, so, you know, that that could be a way forward, um, especially if Von Miller misses. So the, the Broncos, they're quite interesting. They're twenty seventh in a pass rush win rate, um, and going up against a, a football team offensive line that's good when healthy. Um, now again, they, they they've had tackles and offensive linemen on the injury report as well. So you, you, you're going to have to monitor that if you want to bet this game because there's a lot of quite key players. Um, so yeah, I, I can't give too much insight yet. I'm afraid.